What is up guys, JPR Tech here and I'm excited for this video because I get to review my first studio lights that I use for my YouTube setup. You see one right now is behind me and as you heard right, one of them because this package actually comes in a set, dual lights. One is right in front of me at 100%, the other one is behind me at 50%. And both of them have their own controllers, which we'll get back to later on. I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about this light setup. It was the cheapest studio lights I could find in Amazon that allow me to control not only the brightness, but also the Calvin, the color um, temperature. And that is something that I really needed. So that way I could customize my white balance in camera as well as in lights and have everything synchronized well. The brand that I purchased is, I don't know if it's a Spanish name, but it's called Mesu Vida. It doesn't make any sense, but um, yeah, <laughs> that's the model that I end up purchasing. And today I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the pros and cons of it and why I decided to purchase it. At the end of the video, hopefully this will help you in your decision to see if you really need an upgrade in your light setup or if you don't need it at all. And just to give you a heads up, I am shooting in F-Log in my Fujifilm X-H1 with the 23mm F2 wide open. And I am at 1080p because, you know, 4K crops in a little bit. And that's just going to be a little tight for my studio here. And besides, 1080p and 4K is not that much of a difference for a close-up shot like I'm doing right now. Now, with that said, let's talk about the light or lights in this case, because this one has two. And that leads me to the first pro. And the great thing about this is a set. So you could have two lights in front of you. And that way you don't have to have like the hard shadow that I have going on right now on my face. But maybe you want that for style or creativity for your shot. But personally, I like to have everything nice and flat and even, so I usually shoot with both lights on my face. But the neat thing is that you do get two of them. They have stands for each one. They're really uh, sort of sturdy. You, you get what you pay for, they're cheap. If you bump into them, you probably knock them down. So just be careful with not putting them in an unstable area. Just have them on a flat surface and you should be all good to go. The lights are bright, even at 100% it's not too hot, so I don't feel the heat coming yet. That is a good thing because there are LED lights, so they do tend to get warm, but these ones are pretty soft because I believe these are like 65 watt light, so they're not that powerful, they're very weak. As you can see, we are at 100% and it's not all that bright. Definitely is good enough for a studio like I am right now. Another pro is that we do have brightness control and I'll just show you right now one of the remote, one of the two remote controls that it comes with. Uh, you have the settings for brightness level. You could have from 20% all the way to 100. That's not the lowest setting you can go. Actually, if you go to 20% and you press on the brightness down level, you could even get go as low as I believe it's 5%. But um, yeah, that's the cool thing you have individual increments that you could go up I believe is like 5% each step up and 5% down and on the side rocker you have the Calvin so you could go cooler by going plus or you could go warmer by going minus and the cool thing is that if you press the white button here it's going to give you like a daylight color automatically straight off the bat or if you want something really cool and blue hit the cold button and the opposite, of course, hit the warm and you get sunset. All right, so let's go back to white. That's just a little tour of the remote control. It's very easy to understand, really nice. They have all these shortcut buttons that are also very convenient, such as the night mode right there. You see, it gives it a, the dimmest setting you could have. And again, I think that's like 5%. There are no labels, no indicators anywhere to show you really what setting you're on but then again usually once you have everything set up you don't have to dig into settings as much and like i mentioned before another pro is that they are a set so we do have two lights and two controls to control each light and you could have different brightness levels or even calvin settings for each particular light and that is a great pro now that we got all the pros out of the way 
How about we talk about some of the cons? These lights are very cheap. They only cost me about 7,000 yen, which is about $60, $70 in uh, American dollars. Um, so here are the cons that I have found so far. Lowering the brightness level for some reason has created some flickering. I don't know if it's just a, a problem with my room and the electrical wiring that's causing a little bit of flicker because it doesn't happen when I plug it in in other outlet plugs. So it's, um, I can't really guarantee that it's not the light or whether it is the light. So I'm not gonna say that it does have a flicker problem because it's not flickering right now. And even when it does flicker, it absolutely does not affect the video quality. You cannot see the flicker in the video. Again, because we are in 24p timeline, we're shooting at 1 40th of a second. I don't know why, it just, it doesn't show on the video. So that's a plus, but keep that in mind because that could be irritating if you're sensitive to that light flashing. But again, it's not flickering right now, so it's all good. Now the next con is with the lights, even though they can get up pretty high up, so you could use these when you have a model or somebody standing in front of the light, you could light up the face clearly and it does get low, really low. So it has a lot of adjustments level. So the mounting level does tilt up and down, so you do have that adjustment as well. So seeing that the light stand legs are very thin and weak, uh, cheaply made, but they do the job, it's fine with me, but for professional use, you gotta be mindful of that. It will tilt over if you bump into it by accident. So just keep aware of where the lights are at all times. Another con is the remote controllers. Now, even though again, they were really generous to have two controllers and we can control each light, but there's a problem that they kind of cancel each other out when I'm trying to control one light it triggers the other one, but when I try to trigger the other one, it switches to that one. When I try to change controllers, it actually does the same thing. It's just crazy what is happening. I'm gonna see if I could replicate what I'm trying to tell you because this is pretty wild. So I usually end up just using one controller. And let's see, so for example, if we were to go to 20%, both lights went at 20%, and over here I go to 100%, they both go to 100, but no, I want, you at 100, I want you in the back at 50, no, 150. All right, so a little hack on how to get individual settings, you gotta hold the button. So say I hold it down to 50%, and over here I go to 100, there we go. Now we have individual sets. So that's just pretty ridiculous. Like I don't understand why this is happening. They probably have just the same frequency or something, but something to keep in mind, just hold on one light setting down while you change and adjust the other one and you should be good to go. Or you could just use one controller for both lights and get done with it. But that's pretty much it, you know, as of the cons. And yeah, I'm pretty nitpicking here because the light quality is constant, it's nice and soft. It does what I want and it lights up this room really bright, so it's perfect for my conditions. So if you see yourself in a small, tiny studio room that you wanna light up well, these lights could be a good alternative to the ambient lights or the lights already in your room, as it, as it, it was in my case. I desperately needed an upgrade in lights. Well, actually an upgrade, I never had lights. These are my first lights ever. I usually just use lamps and my the window in my room, but I'm always at the mercy of the weather each day. And sometimes we don't synchronize. When I have time to record a video, the weather is really cloudy and dark and I don't have enough exposure. I'm glad we got the lights. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. So guys, what do you guys think? Um, I appreciate you guys taking the time, checking out this video. Let me know your comments in the section down below and I'll see you guys on the next one.